Americans need to be able to defend themselves with firearms like never before. One thing that becomes evident when reading intelligence reports indicates that Americans are going to have to be able to defend themselves perhaps in the very near future. Two of the facts which uh, are highlighted by these intelligence reports are one, that the militant Islamic terrorists as, as epitomized by Al-Qaeda frustrated in their attempts to uh, do damage through hard targets in the United States are now turning their attention towards soft targets like local uh, shopping centers, uh, theaters, military bases, churches, stadiums, etc. And they are beginning to think of using small arms rather than mammoth bombs to accomplish their objective of terrorizing the American people. The second fact, which is evident from a perusal of these intelligence reports, is that terrorists are filtering their numbers through illegal immigration from south of the border. That is, terrorists are coming to the United States through the poorest borders with Mexico. What this means is that Americans, more than ever before, will have to be able to have access to firearms with which to defend themselves and their loved ones from these terrorists if and when they attack. Now, it is quite possible that gun-grabbing ideologues in Congress will use uh, terrorist attacks to promulgate their idea for the elimination of firearms ownership in the United States. However, we have faced these knuckleheads before, and we know that attempting to disarm criminals of any type results only in the disarmament of the law-abiding people who need the firearms with which to defend themselves against the criminal activity. In this case, terrorist criminal activity. Now, unfortunately, we have in the United States Congress a number of politicians who apparently never saw a gun law they didn't like and who would do anything they could to undermine the right of law-abiding American citizens to be able to obtain firearms uh, for self-defense and for other lawful purposes. They abhor the fact that uh, 100 million Americans own about 200 million rifles, shotguns, and handguns, and what would like to undermine the ability of Americans to continue to do so. However, Americans must be on their guard against these politicians as they must be on their guard against the potential terrorist activity within the borders of the United States. Make no mistake about it. Politicians in Congress and anywhere else who would undermine the ability of Americans, of law-abiding Americans, to acquire firearms for lawful purposes really are aiding and abetting the terrorists in their, their potential attempt to attack people in the United States. Unfortunately, unfortunately, in Congress right now, particularly in the House of Representatives, there is a leadership which basically is opposed to the rights of law-abiding American citizens. 
whether this, this be in the form of uh, politicians like Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, or other politicians, the fact of the matter is the same. Anyone, any member of Congress who elects a woman like Pelosi to be Speaker of the House, or a congressman like Chris Van Hollen to a, another leadership position in the House, really is voting against the interests, the righteous interests of law-abiding American citizens. And any citizen who votes for a member of Congress who intends to vote for Pelosi and her ilk to positions of leadership in the Congress is voting, in essence, for those terrorists who would attack law-abiding American citizens. Now we have a general election in less than five months. Americans can do something to protect themselves and their families, in addition to being adept in the use of firearms should the need arise. And that is to register and to vote to make sure that Pelosi and Van Hollen and their ilk no longer are in positions of leadership in the United States House of Representatives come January of 2011.